Today, all the exchange reigns. This signifies the enduring nature of the vows you have just made unto the union into which you now enter. You have both also made the declaration prescribed by law and have made a solemn and binding contract with each other in the presence of your witnesses, friends and family members. We all hope that you look back on this day with great happiness and that the feelings of love that you have for each other today will deepen in the years to come. It now gives me great pleasure to announce to everyone here that you are now husband and wife and you make this your wife. Okay. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.
Where was the couple all like in the shop? Where were they? But they done like came and you know they kept it to the lower numbers sort of thing. Oh, mine of all. Mine of all. Oh, like. Like a puzzle. Well, she was, but after she did like one or two, then she was pulling it in. So now. Is it a pie enough for the front? Yeah, we've got to really cinch me now because it's too loose otherwise. Okay. So it's back in the front. She did show you. Oh, that one won't You're struggling with that, don't you? Here we go. Bit of aggression. That's what it needs. Did you start at the bottom? No, top. Is it? Top to bottom, she did. Okay. Yeah, because it's. You do your tie off at the bottom. So then you're pulling in as you go. You'll have a dangling over it, otherwise, you know. Oh my god. Yeah, that's right. Oh my shoes are white! Oh! 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 One, one, one. Ready? 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 Right, you've got the rings. The rings? I've got the rings. Clear. 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 Uh, you're poking your tongue out again. Get that tongue in. Get that tongue in, yo. Yeah, yeah, really. Really. Um, mm -hmm. I swear. Do you know? Do you want to grab them as well? Yeah. Grab yeah. his flowers. Yeah. 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 Should I just like this? Yeah. Oh, it's awful. It's probably good night. <laughs> <laughs>
the top dispensation is the bride and groom on our sides. Just to remind you, you need them after we've done the ceremony, okay? You need to put the masks on there. And now, Dara, a choice of an essay, I'm Gaster, Craig and Oz, are a chaser of Benny, Seva Chaser Priodas, Stefan, a Kayli. Very good afternoon to you all, and a very warm welcome to Craig and Oz Castle on this very special occasion, the occasion of Stefan and Kayli's wedding day. Special day for you and for the people here with you celebrating the day. Enjoy the day. It's a different day, it's a different different world at the minute as we live in. But enjoy the day, I'm sure you will. And have a lovely, lovely wedding day here in the castle. Um, masks are order of the day, there's nothing we can do about it, and I would have to ask you to put them on once you've sent your vows. Yeah. Now then just to set the scene a little bit, we're in the theatre of the castle. In the Surrey Theatre many years ago, world famous opera singer of her time called Adelina Patsy, who lived and died in the castle, used to hold musical evenings and soirees here. Today we've got two very special people here who are just about to take their vows in the castle, and I'm sure this will become a special place for the both of you for many years to come as you remember your wedding day and share your anniversaries together. On my right, my friend and colleague, Mrs. Sylvia Hargis. Mrs. Sylvia has come today to register the marriage and to make sure that the legal proceedings are followed correctly and that we carry out what we need to do legally to get you married. Now then, first of all, I'm going to ask you to give me your full name, please. My name is Stefan Rizzoli. Thank you. Kaylee Rebecca Demaid. Thank you. Are you comfortable with that? Do you want to face each other? The place in which you are now met has been to be sanctioned according to law for the celebration of marriages. You are to witness the joining of Stefan Rizzoli and Kaylee Rebecca Demaid. If any person knows of any lawful impediment to this marriage, you should declare it now. <laughs> Could I ask Mum to stand, please? Or I ask you, do you, Andrea Jones, give Kylie Rebecca de May to be married to Stefan Rizzoli? Do you give her to be married? I do. Thank you. Stefan and Kylie, before you joined in matrimony, I have to remind you of the solemn and binding characters of the vows you're about to make. Marriage in this country means the union of two people voluntarily entered into for life and to the exclusion of all others. So now I'm going to ask each of you in turn to declare that you do not know of any lawful reason why you should not be married to each other. So Stephanie, if you repeat after me. Yep. I declare that I know. I declare that I know of no legal reason. Of no legal reason. Why I, Stefan Rizzoli. Why I, Stefan Rizzoli. May not be joined in marriage. Sorry. May not. May not be joined, be joined in marriage. marriage to Kaylee Rebecca Demaid. To Kaylee Rebecca Demaid. Stefan Rizzoli, will you take Kaylee Rebecca Demaid to be your lawful wedded wife? I do. And will you love, honour and cherish her? I will. Okay. I declare that I know. I declare that I know. Of no legal reason. Of no legal reason. Why I, Kaylee Rebecca Demaid. Of why I, Kaylee Rebecca Demaid. May not be joined in marriage. May not be joined in marriage. To Stefan Rizzoli. To Stefan Rizzoli. Kaylee Rebecca Demaid, will you take Stefan Rizzoli? To be your lawful wedded husband. I do. And will you love, honour and cherish him? I will. Marriage is a commitment to life, to the best that two people can find and bring out in each other. It offers opportunities for sharing and growth that no other relationship can equal. 
a physical and emotional joining that is promised for life. When two people pledge to love and care for each other in marriage, they create a spirit unique to themselves, which binds them closer than any spoken or written words. A happy and successful marriage must be created. It calls for honesty, patience and, of course, humour. It means loving your partner as they are and for what they are, and remembering to show love and affection. Our trust, understanding and encouragement and you have the basis for a very good marriage. And now the solemn moment has arrived for Kaylee and Stefan to contract their marriage before you, their witnesses, friends and family members. Could I ask you please, those of you that can, to stand with them. <coughs> Persons here present. I call upon these, pe persons, these persons here present to witness the die Stefan Rizzoli. To witness the die Stefan Rizzoli. To take the Kaylee Rebecca to To take the Kaylee Rebecca to To be my lawful wedded wife. To be my lawful wedded wife. Thank you. Thank you. I call upon these persons here present. I call upon these persons here present to witness the I Kaylee Rebecca Demade. To witness the I Kaylee Rebecca Demade. To take the Stefan Rizzoli. To take the Stefan Rizzoli. To be my lawful wedded husband. To be my lawful wedded husband. Now then, I do believe we have a ring bearer. Yes. Yes. So could I ask the ring bearer to step forward? The giving of a ring is a traditional way of sealing the vows that you just made here today. As you all know, the wedding ring is an unbroken circle. It has no beginning and no end, and symbolises unending and everlasting love, and is an outward sign of the lifelong promise that you've just made to each other here today in the presence of your friends, family and witnesses. Now then, could I have Katie's ring and give it to Stefan? Thank you. And could you place it on Katie's finger and say these words after me? I give you this ring, I give you this ring. in recognition, in recognition. of our future lives together. Future lives together. I, promise to love. I promise to love, comfort, comfort. honour and protect you, honor and, protect and be you. true to you, and be true to you. For, as long as we both shall live. for as long as we both shall live. <laughs> Could you give Stefan's ring to Katie? Okay. You put it on, on Stefan's finger. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> it's so powerful, I'm saying it is. Um, I'll give you this ring. In recognition. In recognition. Of our future lives together. Of our future lives together. And I promise to love. I promise to love. Comfort. Comfort. Honour and protect you. Honour and protect you. And be true to you. And be true to you. For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. Thank you very much. Thank you. Today you both exchange rings. This signifies the enduring nature of the vows you have just made and to the union into which you now enter. You have both also made the declaration prescribed by law and have made a solemn and binding contract with each other in the presence of your witnesses, friends and family members. We all hope that you look back on this day with great happiness and that the feelings of love that you have for each other today will deepen in the years to come. It now gives me great pleasure to announce to everyone here that you are now husband and wife, and you may kiss you all.
Can you do one just can you get down or not? Maybe you can. <laughs> oh there we go. <laughs> okay, we're looking this way around, big smiles for me, keep it up. Okay. <laughs> okay, good smiles. Looking this way for me, please. Beautiful. <laughs> Stefan, just drop out a sec. <laughs> I'm looking this way again, that's it. That's lovely, beautiful photos. Okay. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, nice one. That's it. Hold that. Okay. Dad. Yeah. Which side am I going in? Oh, Stephen, and then... Yeah. And then we'll do where we just stand. Is that? Look at your jacket, I've missed your coat on your pocket here. Come back here. Yeah. Okay. Right, where we just stand, is it? Where we just stand, is it? Where we just stand, I know what I'm doing, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Do you all want to come and swing your tattoos? There we go. Okay. Can you throw them back on your shoulders, Kelly? You can. Sit right, it's not sitting right. Okay, good smiles. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Let's go that way a little bit. So I keep coming down. That's it. Steady. I keep catching my leg. Stop it. Guys, just go there, sir. Okay, but. Go on, get your camera. Do with me a second. Sorry. Lack of my mind. Just get used to this one. Okay, good smiles looking this way. Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay. 
Uh, so what do you think is baby? I don't know. What are we doing now? Do we go down there? Yeah, you can come inside. Or just go on stage. Eggs! It's alright, you better not. Your mask is showing again. Okay, good smart to me please. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Oh, you, you don't get the reference here. No. Okay. Wait, you do. Let me go talk. Can you make sure keep an eye on something? I'm a real boss. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Girls, just turn this way a tiny bit. That's it. Perfect. Okay, get a smile there. Looking this way for me. Okay, thank you. Is that everybody? Okay, thank you. So Kaylee, Steph, and your friends, please. You can't find a friend. So Kaylee, Steph. Okay. Okay. Alright. All good? Okay, just back here again. Take this now. Okay, we're good. Good boy, good smiles. Okay, thank you. Good night. Mom, Mom, and you get it. Mom, 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 the big ones. Run, 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 Mom. So I take time is no hurry. Look at each other. Turn this way, oh, turn this, one, one more, but just turn this way a little bit. There we go. Get the light of your glasses. Okay, get the smart thing. Okay, thank you. Go and put one in you as well. On you. I just draw the picture of Kaylee on mine. And on the back I said.
you want to come around to the side? Because the girls are taller than you, they're cheating and they're going to put the heels on. There we go. That's the game. Happier than that, you Okay, that one's good. What are you after next? We want all, 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 yeah, we want that family to get video to do them with you. So you had all them um, with these? Yeah. And then we want everybody. Yeah. So just keep looking. Come on, all smile all the way. I think you get to go home now, half of you. How shocking is that? Okay, thank you. Got a little one running wild. Okay, good smells good. Do a posy run. I know. Whatever silly poses you do on your phones. Just don't cover your faces with flowers. Check your leg out then. Ready? Do the ball. Ready? Ready? One, two, three. You failed. <laughs> you didn't lift your leg. Yeah. Do I go where we are? Yeah. 
I wish we could have met Katie Father. She told me such things about him that they would have been him. That he would have, if he was here today, he said he would tell you, said what to do for you, and how proud he is of you. Hmm. I'm sure he's here in spirit, as I'm sure my grandfather is here, Buzz, Grandpa, and also Eve. So, so please, can you raise a glass for them, please? Thank you. Right. And again, thank you all the set for attending. I said in this Christmas circumstances, and I hope that you all have a great day as we shall. I said no, just enjoy the food, soft drinks, and celebrate. <laughs> We'll all get to get it, sorry, and we'll all get to do it again. I said, when this pandemic ends, we'll have a great big party. So we'll buy those. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Cheers. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Please, can we follow say a couple of words? No. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm not one for giving speeches, to be honest, but um, on behalf, I think, of everybody, I congratulate Katie and Stefan. Hope they have a great future together, and I wish them health, wealth, and happiness. Okay. Thank you. Andrea, lending the shake somewhere. Oh, okay. I tried to pay him off as well, and he still refused. Oh, two sides too. I've got two sides, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Oh, okay. So, those of you who know me will know I'm not a fan of it. Okay, so please bear with me. Um, first of all, I'd like to thank you all for coming today. Um, I don't think I need to introduce myself, but in case you don't know, I'm Kaylee's slightly older sister. <laughs> so, this is the one where they got married. <laughs> it's been a bit of a challenge to get where we are today, and the longer it's been going on, the smaller the wedding's been getting. It's been difficult for Kaylee and Stefan um, to finalise the guest list, but the fact that all you guys are here today um, should tell you that you all mean an awful, awful lot to the both. So, thank you all for coming. God. <laughs> um, I suppose I'm now supposed to take the opportunity to embarrass my daughter. She's already warned me and kissed me on the table three times. But, um, so I will mention the first time she got drunk. Or the first time she went on a girl's holiday and had to fly out to rescue her. Mm. <laughs> or the time she rolled off her first car. Or the time she was cooking a tin of potatoes and they all exploded in her face. <laughs> the steak is still on our kitchen. I know. <laughs> But if you don't know the details, I'm going to chat later on anyway. Yeah. So, uh, Katie's had a few challenges to deal with in her life. Um, she had major spinal surgery when she was just 12. She lost her dad when she was 22. And you, you all know about this, the challenge and the stress of last year. Um, but with every challenge she faces, she stays strong. And we're hugely proud of that. I'm talking to Katie's dad. Um, we can't miss the opportunity to remember him on this special day. He would have been all over this and probably hyperventilating with excitement by now. And he would have been so proud to have escorted Kaylee down the aisle today, as was I. Um, I can remember the time when Kaylee first told me about Stefan. Um, we were strolling around Cardiff Bay. Um, she didn't know how things were going to go, but she said she'd met this good looking chef who played rugby. But look where they are now. Um, married. With two fur, fur babies. <laughs> And who knows what the future will hold with any two legged ones. Um, what they went through last year was tough, but they got through it together, which is the sign of a great start of a lifetime together. And Steph, if there's any advice I can give you, it's the ideal husband understands every word his wife doesn't say. <laughs> but I know they're happy, even if Simon can't get a word in anyways. And we all know she likes to chat. Yeah. <laughs> in fact, this is quite as she's been in, well, 
since I don't know when actually. So uh, without further ado, I better shut up and give it a chance. But before I do it, I just like you to say how oh, happy I am for both of you and that I love you deep as a sea with a hole in it. <laughs> and I'd like everyone to raise your glass and toast a happy couple. To Stefan and Kaylee at last. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Dad, you're well, yeah. fortunately we weren't expecting that. <laughs> <laughs> we all know you like to say something. <laughs> Shut up, I know to see you. <laughs> you could shove your hand up and back to work me from that if you want to. <laughs> well, I suppose well, I could write the book about Katie. Because <laughs> Katie's been with us since you're very small. Because we have her from the, the crash, uh, but uh, she's grown up and, like Andrea said, she went a lot of ups and downs in her life, and she's got through it all. And I, I'm not going to say too much more, except that during this prep, build up to the wedding, she used to come down, and I thought, Thank God the green fields there, I can go and have a fight <laughs> around it, but he happened. Because that's all I have. If I were wrong and come down with her, oh my, because they both were talkers. I think you would say the same. Yeah, but <laughs> Steph, I met Steph. Um, the first time we met Steph, you're a bit shy and you know, all this and that, but you made yourself at home, and, uh, which is great as far as I'm concerned. Comes in, sits down, if you want something, you won't get it, like, it, you know. But, uh, Last year, while he was in hospital, I used to take Kaylee down, but he did upset me. He used to take Kaylee down and I'd wait outside. And he did say to Kaylee, Where's Wolf? I like old Wolf. I thought, You all hurt me a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> but you pulled through that, and at last you're married, and I hope you have a. If you have a life like we are none, it'll be okay. It'll be okay. As Kaylee's cousin, I think I can say on behalf of my family that we are all very happy and grateful that I can finally give this speech because we all know you can't get a word in injuries with Kaylee around. <laughs> <laughs> We've had some amazing memories together from watching scary films in Grands as I hid behind Eve's chair terrified. <laughs> To, hol to family holidays, to which Kaylee's tan lines on a rainy day still increase me. To the bad hairdos that we had from a language barrier on the hairdressing on the crows. <laughs> and where we drank so many strawberry daiquiris and sambuca shots, and I'm quite glad there's an alcohol ban. <laughs> um, <laughs> spoon in a bin. <laughs> <laughs> but this tops it all, seeing if you get married on your lovely day. I remember Kaylee telling me about a boy that she met in the bank. They went up to her and said they had the same glasses. And now I'd like to welcome him to the family. I knew he was a keeper when he offered to drive me to Birmingham to take our dog up, Ralphie. <laughs> not many people would have done that. Um, but I was glad he was driving and not Kaylee, because I remember a few were driving lessons over the boat with her father. <laughs> I couldn't imagine being anywhere else today but you and your wedding day. I'm glad I did make a cut, because I know it was a close one. <laughs> But in all seriousness, I count myself so lucky to be standing here by your side opposite, opposite you <laughs> um, on such an important day of your life. You look absolutely stunning and it's been a long time coming but it's definitely shown how strong you are as a couple that you won't let anything get in your way this time. So a massive congratulations. May your love be as modern enough to survive the times but old fashioned enough to last forever. Let's raise a glass of pop. <laughs> yes, yeah, we all do. Thank you. She can't escape back. Me no luck. Oh, he would, not he? I've written you a poem, okay? We were going to the beach for a wedding fun, for a wedding fun so sunny. But Faith decided otherwise and almost killed your honey. They screwed him back together 
and they patched him up with steel. Kaylee's nerves were shredded. Thank God he was to heal. You nearly went away, then, but alas, it wasn't to be. You had to be some. You had. You had so many worthy votes. The prize snatched by some other bee. Try to know it was your choice for a wedding in July. He was plagued that stopped it this time. Why? 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 We, hang on. I, I had to add a verse. Hang on. It was touch and go right to the end, and a slight mishap I saw. The registrar fell on her ass when she skidded through the door. <laughs> True story, I don't have that in her yet. Okay. She fell. She did. She, she did. <laughs> so, we thank the Lord for you today. Our last in numbers few. Stefan looking healthy and dapper, and Kaylee so beautiful too. Although it's been a trying time, fraught with angst and worry, your strength and love has conquered all, and at last you've got to marry. Okay. Right, I'm Auntie Julia, I'm Uncle Stephen's wife, and we've been married 35 years, one month, 26 days, and two hours. <laughs> <laughs> and I looked at the def- no. I looked up the definition of marriage. It said the state of being united to a person in a consensual and contractual relationship recognised by law. In our case. It's a fancy word for adopting an overgrown male child who cannot be handled by his parents anymore. <laughs> so, I also thought I'd give you some marriage tips, okay? You married 35 years ago. So, I did look some up in the internet. Number one, your wife is less likely to argue with you if you're cleaning. Number two, never shout at each other unless the house is on fire. Number three, if you have to fight, do it naked. <laughs> Abby told me that one, but <laughs> if at first you don't succeed, try doing it the way your wife told you in the first place. <laughs> to keep your marriage brimming with love in the wedding cap, whenever you're wrong, admit it, whenever you're right, shut up. Okay? Two golden rules to a happy marriage. Number one, your wife is always right. Okay? Number two, when you feel she's wrong, slap yourself and return to rule one. Okay? <laughs> Marriage is an endless sleepover with your favourite weirdo. The secret to a great and successful married life is four words. I'm sorry, sweetheart. (laughs) Don't make love by the garden gate. Love is blind, but the neighbours ain't. (laughs) Especially with your (laughs) neighbours. Don't go to bed angry. Stay up and fight. Okay, so that's the ten rules of marriage. Right, in all seriousness, Marriage is a great place to be. Our mantra is, we might not have it all together, but together we have it all. It's not always sunshine and roses. It takes lots of love, understanding, tolerance and support for a couple to grow together and keep going. But you two know all about that. What you've been through over the past few years, when you've loved and supported each other through everything, has been no less than inspirational. You've both shown more strength, devotion and support to each other when dealing with everything that life has thrown at you, that, that you know, that's more than most of us have had to handle in a lifetime. All right. So please can we raise the glass for this amazing couple? All the luck, health, happiness they deserve. Okay, we'll step. Yeah. Yeah. I need <laughs> Thank you.